Okay, I've switched my location just to get this whole thing to work just for you. I want to show you everything there is to know that you need to know to get started with the Vernier Go Card. What's it called? Go Direct Sensor Card. Can you see that? Okay, so I'm going to do a bunch of experiments, collect data, and then that way you know what to do. So the first thing you want to do is to turn it on. So you see that blinking light right there? It's turning on, it's on, it's, it's blinking, it is, right? Blinking, yeah. So now I can connect. I'm gonna switch over here to the computer, I'm gonna open up graphical analysis. On your phone, it's pretty much the same thing, but not identical. Switching, okay, here we are. So I have graphical analysis open, and you can just enter data manually like this, uh, or you can connect to a thing. I wanna connect. Now, there's some things I don't get just all the time. So let's just click this, and it's gonna bring up uh, some devices that it detects. Now, if you'll notice, this one does have a number right there. And you see that three and seven, three and seven. So you wanna make sure that it's the same number that you're connecting to right there. Um, otherwise, you're gonna to connect to someone else's cart. Now, I'm gonna click done. You can connect to more than one cart, and I'll do that in a little bit. No, I don't wanna do that. See, I've already messed up. Let's do it again. And now there probably is a way to do this, but I'm just gonna do a new experiment and sensor collect. And I'm gonna click connect. What the heck, I'm doing it again. Okay, one more time, new, sensor collect. Click this and don't click done. I didn't do that. Now it's gonna to connect to it. Now here's the important part that I don't know how to undo if you don't do it. Under here, sensor channels. If you want the force, you have to check force. So it has a position sensor, which is this little round thing on the bottom that rolls, which is pretty awesome. It has acceleration too. The force sensor is right here, the bumper. Uh, so you want, if you want that, check that. Click done. Okay, I'm gonna push the card and collect some position time data. But right now it gives you, um, you know, three graphs. I don't want three graphs, I want one graph. So I'm gonna click up here to options and choose one graph. Now I'm all set. Um, I am going to change one thing just to show you how to change it. So if you want, it's going to collect for five seconds. If you want to change that up here, you see what I click right on here, click this down. Oh, you can't even see that. Click this down here, uh, mode time base 50 samples per second. I click that and I can change my collection options. So I'm going to go to uh, collect after six seconds, just to show you that I can indeed change it. Um, and then you can change the data rate and the units and all that stuff, but that's fine. Now, there's another thing about the cart, and that's the arrow. See that arrow right there? That's the direction of positive position. So I'm gonna put this right here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a push. We're gonna change that later. I'm gonna show you how to change that. Uh, so let's switch over to uh, the actual video, and you can see what it looks like when I push it. Okay, so here's my cart. I have the positive X going that way. I'm just gonna give it a little push and let's just see what happens. So I'm gonna click collect on my computer and then I'm gonna push it. And it stopped on its own because there's some friction. Okay. Now let's go back to computer and here we are. So there's my data. It doesn't look like it's very good, but it actually is good because it just zoomed out right here can you see that i can click that and it will automatically zoom and there you go it still doesn't look right oh that's because i, I collected force uh let's switch this to position that's what i wanted nice that's lovely there you have a night you can actually even find the acceleration there that's so nice let's just go ahead and do that let's find the acceleration so i'm going to highlight part of that you can drag this over and have more and then these three, if that menu doesn't pop up, these three dots here, I can choose apply curve fit. And then I want what type? I want a quadratic. And then I click apply and boom, diggity, there you go. Right there. Okay, right in front of my face. My face is in front of that. So you have your fit parameter right there. Now let's collect another set of data. I'm gonna just push it again. So I'm just gonna click collect. I'm gonna push the cart and then I'm gonna stop it. 
I'm going to let it stop on its own because I do want to show you something very important. Okay, where is my previous set of data? Well, they're all here. If I click on this change the Y axis, you'll see right here data set two, that's when I'm on. There's data set one. I can turn them both on or I can delete it or I can turn them both off. Okay, if I want to look at velocity as a function of time, I click this right here and now it's going to plot the velocity. Now I don't want to do both velocity and position because that's kind of weird. Uh, so there, that's better. And then you could find the slope of that line. You could do a whole bunch of awesome stuff. Apply curve fit, linear fit, the end. Okay. What else do we need to do? Let's go ahead and, and look at a collision uh, using the force sensor. So I'm going to collide this with the wall. And uh, I'm actually going to turn around the sensor. Oh, I'm not going to turn around the sensor. I'll turn around later. Okay. So let's just push it and collect data and then plot force versus time. Force versus time. Okay, let me switch so you can see what it looks like. I want to hit this barrier right here with the sensor. Okay, so I'm going to turn this around this way. Okay, and then I'm going to click collect. And I don't have to change the parameters yet. I can change that afterwards. I'm going to click collect. I'm not going to push it really fast because I don't want to damage anything. I'm just going to click collect, collect. That's pretty nice. Okay. Now let's switch to the computer. And I want to switch this to force versus time. So here's my force versus time. So I'm on data set three. I'm going to turn off velocity. I'm going to turn on force. And then there I have that first collision right there. That's exactly what I wanted. So let's zoom in on that. I'm going to highlight that whole region. And then I'm going to click the, the plus right here, the zoom button. And there we go. Super nice. Okay, now if you do any experiments, you know that this, the area under this curve is the change in momentum. So let's find the area under the curve. Highlight that whole thing. Uh, and then view integral, I think is it there. So that gives me uh, the area, 0.157. Now, if you wanted to look at the velocity before and after, that would be a good time to switch over to two graphs. And then on this bottom one, I'm going to plot velocity as a function of time. Data set, this velocity. Data set three, I'm on data set three. Okay. And then here you can see, uh, if you just click on the graph, it will show you a value. That's the velocity right before the collision. That's the velocity right after the collision. Um, actually, I just realized that this, it'd be nice if this was lined up with that. It's not. Uh, let's see if we can get that. And I'm just going to highlight this region. Let's see if I highlight that region. And then zoom. Uh, it's still not perfectly lined up. I think you can drag these. Maybe you can't. Yeah. You can drag these. You could get it all lined up. There. That's all. There you go. Nice. Okay, so here's my velocity before, there's my velocity afterwards, and you could do a change momentum. Pretty cool. Okay, now let's look at two carts. So I have a second cart here, and I'm going to turn it on. And I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just going to start a new program. So up here, untitled, I always start new, new experiment. I'm not going to save the old one because, I mean, I don't, I don't want to. I'm going to click sensor collect. Now I have two carts. Oh wait, new experiment, sensor collect. Why is it new experiment? I'm not sure why. You know what, the, when in doubt, shut it out. Okay, so let's just, close that and start it back up and this one should be turned on it is on line this back up okay sensor collect I don't know everything I'm doing it's fine you don't have to know uh, proximity detect and the second one it would there's only two here Let's see, K, and so it's already connected to that one. Let's connect to this one too. It automatically connected, that was kind of weird. 
and I want it, I want them both to have force too, just for fun. Force, force, done. Now I'm going to go up here and change this to one graph. And I want to plot the velocities of both of them. So here's the collision I'm going to make. Let's switch over to the camera. So I have my two carts. And I want them to collide like this. Okay. So I, they're both measuring positive in different directions. So I want this to be the positive direction. So I want to switch the, the direction of the positive for the green cart. Okay, so I can do that down here. Um, oh, I'm not on that thing. I really don't know what I'm doing. So position, so I like this down here, you can't see it. Good thing I have an extra monitor so I can see what you can see. Right here, position Y, the Y is yellow. Position G, that's the green. So let's switch, let's click position green. And then right here, I'm going to reverse. So it's gonna be reversed. Um, and you can change the units, you can zero it too. That's not super important. What I wanna do is just collide them and then we can see what happens. Okay, so let's plot the velocity as a function of time for both of these. Velocity, turn that off, turn that off. Velocity, yellow. Okay, we're all set. So I'm gonna have that one right there. I'm gonna click collect and then I'm gonna push them towards each other. Okay, that actually turned out really nice. <laughs> okay, so there you go, there's your collision. Um, let's, let's look at a couple other features that you may want to use. Uh, first over here, save as, that's fine. Export, you can save it as a CSV file or a PDF. Uh, if you want to export it into Google Sheets, why would you want to do that? I don't know. Uh, another couple options that are important for me, uh, session preferences. No, I like this. There's an option up here, app preferences, toggle light mode. I like the white better. I don't know why I didn't have it in that way before, but that's, if you're going to take a picture, um, use it in a, in a lab report. You don't want a black background graph. It just, and then if you print it out, it's all black. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, this is, oh, here, that's where you switch to the, you can add the acceleration. I found it. Okay, that's fine. Um, Time-based, with sys, graph options. Uh, I think we're good. I think that's enough to get you started uh, to collect data and to use these carts. So if you don't have uh, the vernier carts, um, you can't do it the same way. The rolly wheel on the bottom really does a great job with position. Oh, I did. I want to show you the fan too. Let's show you the fan. Uh, the fan, because I've used this before, but here is the fan. And the fan has uh, a really important property on it in that when we turn it on, you can change both the four setting and the time that it's on for. Uh, here I have a cart with um, the mount on it. I'm going to put it right here. This is on green one, so it's on four setting one. And then if you hold that down, not, there's two buttons. There's a play button and a force time button. I'm going to hold down the time button until that changes to red. And now this, or orange it looks like. Now, no, it's red right here. And it's on two time settings. So the times are one second, three seconds, six seconds, 60 seconds. So you can just change those by pushing that button. Now it's on, it's on six seconds. Okay, let's put it back. It just cycles through on three seconds. Uh, okay, so let's run it on one four setting for three seconds. I'm gonna put it on the cart. I'm pretty sure this is the front. Uh, I always get that backwards. It just clips on here really nicely. Uh, the cart, you can change this, which is super awesome. So you can have it at an angle. That's pretty cool. Now, when you click the play pause button, watch what happens. So when I click that, it's going to give me a countdown. There's going to be a blinking. And it's, going to, it's not going to start right away. So you can have time to press click, wait for it to get set up, and then go. And that's pretty nice. Um, you can change the forces and all that stuff. Uh, now, be careful. The, the different fans on the same settings can be a little bit different. 
So just play with them. I played with them. If you want equal fans pushing in opposite directions, there are three locations for these fans to sit, so that's kind of cool. Okay, that should get you started. Hopefully you found that useful.